ChatGPT has released new in-painting image editing features inside of Dolly, and I think that this is going to change the way that AI images are made. All right, so we're going to jump into this and explain this a little more, but first, let me explain to you what this is. So this is our AI in 5. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host and founder of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their companies and grow their careers. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for that free daily newsletter. All right, so every day in our daily newsletter, we do an AI in five, which is where we go over a different AI tool or technique. So today we're gonna be talking a little bit about this new feature of kind of what's being called in painting, uh, inside of ChatGPT. So let's start over here and show you how this works from the beginning. All right, if we can load a load a new uh, new uh, window here. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put in a very simple prompt. So I'm doing this in ChatGPT4. So you do have to be using the paid account of ChatGPT Plus, which is twenty dollars a month for individuals. $30 a month for Teams, which gives you uh, a lot more features. So uh, I'm just in the default mode. I'm doing a very simple prompt and I'm saying, create a photo of the solar eclipse happening in Chicago as Chicago goes from sunshine, uh, sunshine to darkness for a few minutes in the middle of the day. So yeah, this is happening here uh, in Chicago in a couple of hours. Uh, always like to do these live. I don't like to do you know, features and edit these and, you know, show them a, a, to you a week later. So we always do these live, unedited, uncensored, so you can actually see how these tools work. All right. So here we go. Pretty, pretty cool uh, photo here. So to use this new in painting feature, all right, here's what you're going to do. You're just going to click on the image and then it's going to bring up this kind of split side by side. Uh, from there, you can always click the info to get what the prompt actually is. So that's what people don't also understand about ChatGPT. It actually takes your simple prompt and it uh, turns it into something a lot more in depth, but that's not what we're talking about here today. To do the in painting, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this new select. So this also does work on desktop and it works, or, or sorry, it works on mobile. So if you have the official ChatGPT app, uh, this works as well. It works fairly well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the select button. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to grab here. And you can also make the uh, selection tool uh, smaller or larger. So I'm going to try something that's actually pretty difficult. Um, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. And I'm just going to select uh, this building here. We'll see if this works. I'm not even sure. And this building here. And I'm just going to say, so what you do is you select something. Um, and then you're going to go over and you're going to, uh, in the chat window on the right hand side, you're going to talk to Dolly and say what to do with those highlighted areas. So I'm going to say, uh, remove these buildings. All right. So you can just talk in plain English. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work. Uh, in, in my initial testing, it works a lot better when you are just highlighting a single element. Uh, so we'll see how it works when we're, um, selecting two elements and these two elements that are also very small. Also, I didn't say what to put in its place. So it might put other buildings. It might just put, you know, kind of a sky and background. Um, what's funny here is, uh, you know, it actually gave us like three Sears towers. So those are, it looks like three of the same uh, building, kind of the uh, iconic uh, Sears tower here in Chicago, not Willis. No one calls it Willis. Uh, so we'll see if it actually removed it. So uh, pretty good. It looks like it did uh, a, a good job. So uh, the good thing here that you can do, and I like that uh, ChatGPT does this, on the right-hand side, you can scroll and kind of see the before and after. So uh, see here, we have those two buildings. That's an error. There's not supposed to be three, uh, you know, Sears Towers. Uh, so I scroll down and you'll see it got rid. Uh, it did get rid of those ones. So now what we can do, uh, so now we can continue editing, which is pretty cool. So now those two images are gone. So let's just say I want this water uh, to be a little, a little with a little more color. So again, we're going to try a difficult one. We're going to see how Dolly handles it because also I'm going to be highlighting a lot of this area that has the reflection of the buildings. So I want to really uh, signify in this photo kind of the dichotomy between the light and the darkness. And I feel for whatever reason, 
uh, the water just looks a little too dark, which is okay. So now I have all of the water highlighted. And I'm so I'm going to say make the water appear a bit lighter with more sunshine hitting it and make the water uh, a little uh, brighter blue in color. All right. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. I didn't even say anything about retaining uh, the, the building reflections. I wanted to not tell uh, Dolly and ChatGPT that to see if it was, you know, kind of smart enough to retain, um, you, you know, some of those great details uh, that were in the reflections in the water, uh, but at the same time, uh, make some of those adjustments that I asked. So again, pretty, pretty difficult, uh, pretty difficult task, I would say, uh, because also accurate, like this, I think the water does accurately re uh, reflect for this point of the eclipse. Um, but so, okay, it did it did an okay job. So it got about half of it. Uh, it got about half of it right, uh, but it didn't uh, retain the reflection. So uh, another thing that people don't know you can do is you can always edit. So, you, you know, you, there's no back button uh, when doing this, but you can just edit. Uh, you, you know, you can go up in your um, kind of history here and edit anything, and it's going to uh, only edit that image. So I'm going to edit this one, and I'm going to say, uh, please retain the silhouettes. Oh, gosh, how do you spell silhouettes? We'll see. There we go. Thank you, uh, autocorrect. So I'm going to say, please retain the building silhouettes and their reflection in the water. All right, so now, um, because this one here on the left didn't turn out exactly how I wanted to, it got some of the things right. You know, I, I said I wanted a little bit like it, there was a little more sunshine or a little more brightness, um, you know, in the water. But unfortunately, it got rid of those building silhouettes and those reflections. So um, that's another thing is you can always go back up um, in the history, click that edit button. Um, you know, because maybe one of these edits didn't go right. So yeah, a couple things people don't know is you can do multiples. Um, so, so now, now what we got here is we essentially just got a completely, uh, different, uh, image here. So it did start to go, uh, awry, uh, but that's okay. You know, the, the point of this AI in five, uh, wasn't to get a perfect image. It was just showing you some of the different features and functionalities of this new in painting. So, Hey, that happens with generative AI, you know, every once in a while, uh, you're going to get a result that you definitely didn't expect. Uh, all right. I hope this is helpful. If so, let me know, are you going to use AI in painting from Dolly? You know, we've seen this feature with, you know, video editors such as runway. Uh, so some exciting, uh, new functionality, for ChatGPT's Dolly. I hope this is helpful. Go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.